What's up guys, it's Chad with Living the Van Life up here in Washington. Today, we're out along the Nooksack River in the North Cascades of Washington State. We've got my good friend Taylor up here who loves to go out and hunt for wild mushrooms. So he's gonna take us out into the wilderness and we're gonna see if we can find some chanterelles that's gonna go along perfectly with tonight's meal. So we're gonna go out, hit some woods, see if we can dig up some mushrooms. Yeah, they're super tiny. Oh, like the ones that yeah. I left? Yeah. Well, this is definitely a cool experience. In the last year or so, I've pushed myself to get up here into the woods and learn more about cooking over a campfire and more survival type stuff. So getting to come out with Taylor and learn a little bit from him about foraging for mushrooms. I mean, this could open up a whole new element to living the van life out here in the back country. So definitely a cool experience out here for sure. Not exactly 100% sure, but try to identify with a book later on to make sure it's edible and good to eat and definitely not going to make me sick. But in most cases, when they say uh, there's gills, they say avoid them, but not all of them are going to kill you. Some of them will be quite good for you. But today we're looking for chanterelles and maybe lobster mushrooms. And uh, kind of curious exactly to see which species this is. I'll bring this back and see what it is. Here about a week and a half ago of checking chanterelles and... Oh, shit, we, we got a lobster. We got a lobster mushroom, folks. Yes, yes, this is awesome. It is massive. With this, you always want to cut it at the base of the stem. And try to leave that there and hopefully more will grow from her but whew, that is a beaut oh yeah that's a lobster my friend <laughs> this is gonna be good eats let's find some more uh they're not super rare they're just big flavorful and they go great on so many dishes so when you're hungry Throw a little bit of lobster in your meals and you'll be good to go. Today, good start. <laughs> so we were just walking around here near where Taylor found the lobster mushroom and spotted here a chanterelle growing. So it's a decent start to one. This will help with our meal tonight. Yeah, get to the bottom and uh, slice her off. And look about six inches to the north of you and there's another. Oh, yes, yeah, sure. <laughs> When there's one, there's two. Oh, nice. This is totally my first experience of mushroom hunting and my first chanterelle. Right there, we got a good start. Oh, yeah, dude. Got a couple fatties. Did ya? Yeah. Nice. I'll head up there in just a second. Oh, I got one too. Oh, nice.
Well, we've got ourselves a pretty decent inventory of chanterelles. That should make dinner over a campfire really interesting for this evening. We're just making our way back to camp. We'll get to cooking, see what we come up with. Italian sausage is one of my favorite ingredients to cook with out here over a campfire. 
But today with Taylor, we went out and foraged for some wild chanterelle mushrooms. Taylor is actually over here prepping those and that's what's gonna go in next.
This is going to be epic. Cheesy goodness. Well, the pizza's prepped, the fire's hot. We're ready for the moment of truth to see if we can actually pull this off. A fresh pizza in a Dutch oven over a campfire with hand-picked mushrooms from out here in the backcountry. That's where it's at. But quite honestly, the challenge is gonna be managing the heat properly to get this pizza just perfect. Well, I'd say the pizza's been in the Dutch oven here for maybe 20, 25 minutes. We've gone ahead and removed the coals and the flame off the top, and then we let it sit inside the Dutch oven for maybe another five or 10 minutes. And we're gonna do a quick look at it here and see just how we did. Oh, hell yes. I think it looks done, dude. I think it is done. I, I think, think it also looks freaking fantastic. I'm ready to dig into it. I can't believe it turned out this well. Well, that is always the funnest part about Dutch oven cooking is the reveal to see how you did. We pulled it off there and it actually looks like we did pretty darn good for some campfire pizza in a Dutch oven. Next test is to see how it tastes. So we're gonna dig into this thing and see what's up. Looks like we're gonna get a good little crisp. Cheers. Cheers, buddy. Mm. Huh. Mm. Yeah, I can't believe we did that over a campfire. Dude, it turned out pretty good. A little <laughs> thick crust, but. Yeah, certainly not uh, thin crust pizza, but. It's very good, and I'm very happy with it. Mm -hmm. mm. A little crispy on the bottom, but we did cook it over a thing fire. Learning curve. Yeah. <laughs> mm. The flavor, though, the flavor's good.
Well, here in a couple weeks, we'll get some more mushrooms, so. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Let's, uh, let's start cooling off and a little more rain. Get some big white chanterelles. Some more lobster. It's almost a meat substitute for some. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. We'll be cooking. Nice. Yeah, I can't go wrong with the chanterelles. They pretty much go great with everything, so. Yeah.